To turn on your thermostat, press the power button located in the centre of the thermostat below the screen. Press the power button again to turn the thermostat off. To set the time and day on your thermostat, press the circle to enter the main menu. A box around the clock icon will start flashing, indicating that you're on the main menu. Press the circle to get into the time and date settings. You'll see a day of the week flashing at the top of the screen. Use the arrow buttons to highlight the correct day if required. Press the circle to confirm. With the hour flashing, Use the arrow buttons to select the correct hour. Press the circle. Now use the arrows to select the correct minute. Then press the circle to confirm. Once you're happy with the time and day set, press the back button twice to return to the main screen. Your day and time are now set. Setting on and off times is done in edit. Press the circle to enter the main menu. A box around the clock icon will start flashing, indicating you're on the main menu. Use the arrow keys to highlight edit on the main menu and press the circle. By default, the thermostat is set to a seven day schedule, meaning your on and off timings and temperatures will be the same every day of the week. Because of this, we only need to program one day. Where you can see Monday is flashing, press the circle. The thermostat holds four time periods, wake, leave, return, and sleep. By default, these are set to operate in line with most people's standard working days. You can, however, amend these times and temperatures to suit your own needs. Starting with wake, press the circle. Use their arrow keys to select the hour, press the circle. Use the arrow keys now to set the target temperature you want your thermostat to reach for this time period, and then press the circle. You'll be prompted to set the time and temperature for the next event. Press the circle to enter the next event, set the hour, press the circle, set the minutes, Press the circle, set the temperature, press the circle, repeat this for the remaining events in the schedule. Once all time periods have been set, press the back arrow three times to return to the main menu. Your on and off times have now been set and with the seven day schedule enabled, these timings will be replicated for every day of the week. You can, if you wish, opt to have a 5 plus 1 plus 1 schedule, allowing you to set different on and off times and temperatures for Saturday and Sunday separately. To enable a 5 plus 1 plus 1 schedule, press the circle. Use the arrow keys to navigate to Setup. Press the circle to enter the advanced settings. Keep pressing the circle until you reach number 11. Use the arrow keys to change this setting from 00 to 01. Press the circle to confirm and the back arrow twice to return to the home screen. With a 5 plus 1 plus 1 schedule enabled, press the circle on edit. You'll now see we have Monday to Friday flashing, then Saturday, and then Sunday. To manually override and adjust the temperature of the thermostat, use the arrow keys to set either a higher or a lower temperature. Use the back arrow to confirm. When setting a higher target temperature, a flame will appear on the screen, 
along with a clicking sound. This indicates that the thermostat is calling for heat. If you want your thermostat to run at a set temperature indefinitely, you can do so by using the hold function. To access this function, press the circle to enter the main menu. A box around the clock icon will start flashing, indicating you're on the main menu. Use the arrow keys to highlight hold on the main menu and press the circle. You'll see hold on the top right of the screen is currently set to off. Use the arrow keys to set this to on and press the circle. Set the temperature you want your thermostat to run at by using the arrow keys and press circle to confirm. You'll be returned to the main screen and you can see hold on the screen above the time. Your thermostat is operating in hold mode, ignoring any timed heating you've set in edit mode. To turn off hold mode and go back to your timed heating, simply press the circle, navigate to hold on the main screen, press the circle, use the arrow to set this to off, press the circle to confirm. Currently, the thermostat is reading room temperature. If you have a floor probe installed, you can set the thermostat to read the floor temperature or both together. To change sensor selection, press the circle to enter the main menu and the box around the clock icon will start flashing, indicating you're on the main menu. Use your arrow keys to navigate to setup on the main menu and press the circle. Continue pressing the circle until the number on the top right reaches number five. This is the sensor selection setting. Use the arrow keys to select the required configuration. 00, zero is for room temperature, zero 01 for floor temperature, and zero 02 for both sensors. We're going to select floor temperature. To confirm, press the circle and press the back arrow to return to the home screen. The thermostat is now reading floor temperature. When selecting both sensors, the room temperature will determine whether the thermostat calls for heat or not, but the thermostat will enforce the floor temperature limit, which is set in the next setting. This is currently set to 27 degrees. This is generally the optimal temperature to set your floor temperature limit to protect sensitive floor coverings, such as wood, vinyl, and carpet. Holiday mode is a feature that will keep your property at a set minimum temperature for when the property is going to be unoccupied for a number of days. To put the thermostat in holiday mode, press the circle to enter the main menu. A box around the clock icon will start flashing indicating that you're on the main menu. Use arrow keys to highlight holiday on the main menu, press the circle to enter. You'll see holiday left in the top right of the screen with 00, zero flashing below. You can use the arrow keys to set the number of days. Press the circle. You can now set a temperature that you want to maintain for that number of days. The default is five degrees, which is also the same as your frost protection, but it can be amended using the up and down arrows as shown. Press the circle, you now see that it's in holiday mode with holiday left showing seven days and should the temperature fall below the minimum value that we've set, the heating system will come on. It's advised to set your days left one day less than required as this will get your heating back up and running for a comfortable return to your property. <laughs>